Whenever meekness is being produced in you by the conscious spirit, you'll be both careful and controlled. Your presence alone will become comforting medication for the angry, the hateful, and the upset, and you will impart peace to situations that were previously unsettling and unbalanced. Meekness. Hey, what's up, Meek Planet? Thank you for landing. Have you ever heard this phrase before? Saw this phrase before? Has anybody told you this before? And what's the usual comeback? Just because I lie, don't mean I'll steal a kill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Anyway. What does this phrase really mean? Let's talk about it. Meet me inside. So if you lie, you'll steal, and if you steal, you'll kill. Let's see if that phrase actually holds any water. So I have six people here, and if we just go by society, this is six different people, six different backgrounds, six different level, levels of uh, success, education. Some of these people are seen as the pinnacle of success in society. In society. So they're supposed to be uh, the, the upper class, the, the elite, at what they did at least. So if we look at this first person, the first shady character we have here, her name is actually Elizabeth Holmes. Now, Miss Elizabeth was accused, or she's on trial right now for fraud. She opened up a company that was supposed to help you with diabetes, diabetes, excuse me, but it turned out to just to be a money grab, uh, an, an ego grab. She was too busy trying to be Steve Jobs. Now she was 37 years old and here it says she was a Stanford University dropout. Oh, Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly. I feel so freaky tonight. I hope you don't feel freaky in jail. That's all. That'll be bad business for you, Woody. Unless you like that type of thing. But Mr. Kelly, 54-year-old African-American male, uh, convicted of being a sex offender. I don't know how much time he's going to get. I think that he's still in that part. Notice I do have the ID ego for all of these people, as we'll discuss on another video. Next, we have uh, this shady character was a former U.S. Marine who absolutely lost his mind and went to looking for somebody who didn't exist at a home he never should have been at because he didn't even know the people who lived there. But this was a 33-year-old Marine, Mr. Brian Riley, disgusting human being. I shouldn't call him a human, but a disgusting individual all the same. Uh, the next person we have here, this guy looking like uh, Bert and Ernie's little son from Sesame Street. Street, I mean Street. <laughs> uh, Mr. Amin Hurst. Now, Mr. Amin Hurst is only 16 years old and was known as a hitman for his gang. He thinks he's a shooter where he killed four people in four separate incidents. Where is this, po this boy's parents? Uh, this cat was, uh, not was, a, yeah, he was a preacher. This was Justin Bieber's boy. I used to see him on TMZ all the time. But he was a preacher, not just a preacher, the head preacher of a, a, a huge church. And he was caught uh, cheating on his wife and fronting in front of the congregation. But the other thing he was caught for, I think, yeah, uh, accused, he was accused of sexual harassment by his man. That part I don't know as far as a fact but the other part yeah he was caught cheating on his wife and lying to the congregation oh i don't even want to see her face you can shake her face off but this was so dirty what she did and she did it to her own children but this is a 24 year old uh young female and i know some of you guys are gonna say oh it, it's mental illness yeah she was taking med medication for it but when it came down to killing herself she all of a sudden snapped out of it wasn't able to do it but she took those little kids life esther Kalejos, Kalejos, if, if I'm saying that wrong, uh, please correct me. All right, so now that we've met the state forum voice, the Pied Piper, and the disaster pastor and others, let's talk about why and how it's actually a fact that if you lie, you'll steal, 
and if you steal, you'll kill. You see, the reason is that those people are making decisions from the same level of consciousness. And I know, I know, society would have you believe that these social constructs are what makes a person human. Uh, but as you see here, a social construct is something that exists not in objective reality, but as a result of human interaction. It exists because humans agree that it exists. So for you to believe that your pastor is somehow a good person because he holds the role of pastor and is very successful, you would be wrong and you are being led astray. If you think that someone is smart or because they so-called have beauty, remember that's not even beauty. What is beauty? If beauty is in the behind, the behind, what am I talking about? If beauty is in the eye of the beholder, then whoever says you're beautiful, that's how you end up beautiful. Beautiful is just a social construct, evil and good. Now, the reason I brought that up is because a lot of people feel that there's evil and good, right? That's why you feel that a lie is less than, it's not as bad as murdering somebody. I mean, this person murdered somebody. Lying isn't that bad because most of our, our ideas of what's good or bad, which are also social constructs as I advise, most of our, our ideas come from laws that people wrote just laws uh, but the primary function as you see here of laws are to just help people make decisions and punish those who violate laws but laws don't make people good or bad but that's how some people they wouldn't even have any morals or any ethics if there wasn't a punishment for it they would be doing everything just like they do what they want do what thy wilt this is as i said as i said earlier these people are making decisions from a different level of consciousness people are not the same if you didn't know this please know it and and what separates them is not any of these social constructs it's not because yeah i know the different people are different height people are different skin color people are different age people work different places worship no that that's not what i'm talking about i mean people are really different human beings are different they are different as a cheetah and a lion and a goat and a mule we are not the same what truly separates us is how we see the world how we see ourselves and how we see others in the, in it not just others as far as humans but the animals and the earth itself you see people who have a higher consciousness don't go out don't go through life thinking that they are superior in any way which means they take no validation from getting say uh, 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 the highest metal in the land they know this is simply cartoon it's just a made-up award it gives them nothing as a human and i'm not saying that they shouldn't be they shouldn't uh like take any uh be happy they won the award i'm saying they should take no validation in it that's all it is it's just an award it's it, it's like having getting an education and now thinking that you deserve a different type of woman or a different type of man it's like winning a lottery and all of a sudden you deserve this or that or it's like uh you've been a billionaire and because you're a billionaire you can buy up millions of uh, not millions let's not get ridiculous but hundreds of acres of farmland because no one can stop you from doing it you have more power than the so-called president or king whatever you want to call them and i know i'm not being disrespectful to the united states president so please don't leave me comments about that stuff i just don't see anybody as superior regardless of their role or job as i said that stuff is made up i didn't think tom was a real cat if you don't know i'm talking about tom and jerry i might have just dated myself but i don't give a anyway so let me show you this is a consciousness level chart and what you see here is from survival all the way to the top of consciousness or the me the god consciousness perfect power under perfect control but this is why if you lie you'll steal and if you steal you'll kill because you the liar you the thief 
and you, the murderer or the killer, are all making your decisions and your life is being driven from your consciousness level, which is the same as an animal. You react off instinct and you're in survival. Meet me next week. Next week, what am I talking about? Next video. I'm probably going to drop a video tomorrow. Uh, I'm still working a full-time job, but that's okay. I just want to be a part of waking up consciousness. And as I said, each time you watch a video on this channel, whether you want to or not, you're waking, awakening your consciousness. So be with us every video. Please like, please subscribe. I'm out. LJ. Meek.